Scared cat. I'm not a scaredy cat, I'm a scaredy girl. Okay, yeah, that's what I mean. We don't want to stay here. Like, if I was, if I was from here, I would just make a lot of money in America and then come back. Hey, birds. Boing, 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 boing. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Eucalyptus tree. Oh, no so guys, we're standing in front of this beautiful, incredible eucalyptus tree out in Arequipa, Yanqui, Peru. Um, never seen a eucalyptus tree this big ever, um, but it is quite incredible. You can smell the eucalyptus coming off of it. Oh, it smells amazing. There's also a little path of water that you can kind of see just trailing right through. I'm sure the eucalyptus tree gets a lot of its nutrients from this. Oh, 
sauna. It smells really good. They picked the right plants, I guess. Got these mushrooms right here. Is this your first time? Yeah, first time. Me too. <laughs> oh, I'm using this. It's not a butter knife. That's my butter knife. Gosh, that mint in the tea, in the lemonade, is the best thing that's happened to lemonade. Like, I don't, I don't want lemonade without mint in the tea. This tea is so good. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's a rock inside the bathroom. Start walking. I'm not gonna stop. Go ahead, start walking. I'm gonna let you go ahead, and I'm gonna come right behind you. So we're here with quite a few different types of alpacas and llamas. They're not really fond of closeness. Makes sense. They don't know me. I don't know them. But I do want to say hello. Hello. Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. Look. They walk this way when they don't want to be talked to or bothered. Look. So it's net filled and it's ugh, crazy. But we're at the alpaca ranch right now at Coco Lodge. They have a lot more than just alpacas though. You can see one right there. Whoop, whoop. I'm not sure how long we're gonna be here because of the bugs, like literally. As soon as we crossed the bridge, it was like bug central. They have a really cool little museum here that kind of just gives you the rundown on which type is which and what's an alpaca and llama and how they became and what the people believe. So that's pretty cool. Anthony's over there taking pictures. I'm just walking around looking at stuff. Every time I come over, the alpacas like look at me like, are you gonna come any closer? And then they run away. <laughs> we have a massage at two, so that will be probably a highlight. I think that one back there is a Surrey with the long stringy. Kind of looks like, like one of those dogs. See? I think that's a Siri. I'm not sure. I really don't know. I'm literally just reading and looking, and I'm just like, well, that looks like that. This one's really cute, this little alpaca. He doesn't like me, but he's super cute. Yes, you. You're super cute. You just don't want to talk to me. That's okay. Because if my parents told me not to talk to strangers, no, I understand. This guy is allergic to flowers or something. He loves smelling them, but he's just so allergic. <laughs> Look what Anthony gave you guys. Flower ring. <laughs> so cute. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are supposed to even be eating those flowers. Ooh, look at you. You're just smelling them and just, just sneezing. 
just sneezing. He's just like, I love the smell of them and I like the way they taste, but I'm allergic. I have allergies. You have allergies, my friend? Huh? Yep, they do. They like those flowers. That's it, you guys. I think we're gonna head back. I think it might start raining soon, so I don't wanna get stuck out here with these alpacas and llamas when it's raining, you know. They be funky. It's about to stop raining. Oh no, I recorded it, I'm recording.